Lately, life has been a bit different. Things have slowed down a bit. Actually, they've come to a screeching halt. My normal day-to-day -day life consists of constant creation. I'm always busy doing something. To suddenly smash on the proverbial brakes is, well, something of a drastic contrast from my normal. With spring in the air, this is especially challenging for me. Right now, the seasonal change is in full swing. The landscape is vibrant with life. The trees are budding, flowers blooming, the grass is lush, and the smell of rich soil fills the air. Life is carrying on as it always does, and I'm laid up inside. But we need to back up a bit to where we last left off. What happened? Pretty sure I broke my collarbone. Road to recovery, I guess, is uh, I guess is where we're headed next. I'm glad you're still smiling. I mean, that's what it is, right? Allie and I both had our vehicles in Knoxville, so I drove myself back. It was a long drive. We stopped at an emergency care clinic closer to home and got an x-ray to see what was going on. Those are frozen peas I forgot to remove. And yeah, that's a broken collarbone as well. I got into an ortho first thing the next day. All right, day two, post crash at the ortho. See how things go. But it took a second visit before I found a surgeon I was comfortable with. Tuesday, the 16th, the second ortho appointment today, uh, Dr. Brett Sanders. I really liked him a lot and really knew his stuff, specializes in shoulders. Had another look at some of the x-rays. It was definitely worse than I was led to believe. He's feeling pretty good about it, so got me scheduled for surgery tomorrow. Nervous, a little anxious, but also excited, and I uh, just kind of want to get on with it, so. Yep, that's about it. All right. On my way to the hospital to get surgery. This morning was rough. Didn't take my pain meds in the middle of the night. Paid for it this morning. Seems I'm stubborn like that. She wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I'll be feeling better soon. I can feel the bone poking in the skin. It kind of sucks. Post-surgery. Otherwise, tingly fingers, don't feel anything else though. Dr. Sanders said it went great, so that's awesome. Now, uh, you know, go lay down and start recovering. Road to recovery. Man. Get back out there faster than ever. <laughs> yes, yes. Watch out, he's coming for you guys. Watch out, bionic arm. <laughs> he will crush you off. Hey gang, checking in. <clears throat> First day post-op. It's kind of a rough night. Nerve block wore off last night around 9.30 or so and uh, I got pretty uncomfortable. I only slept maybe like, maybe an hour total since surgery yesterday. Still staying optimistic, still trying to keep a positive mental attitude. Uh, thanks for all the, the well wishes out there. I appreciate all the, the love and support from you guys and super psyched to get healed up and get back out there and see everyone and and ride again as soon as I can get healthy and strong. It's Saturday. I'm sorry I didn't check in yesterday. Uh, yesterday was, um, it was a little rough. I felt decent in the morning and then in the afternoon things kind of unraveled a bit. And I didn't do so hot last night. I've been doing this channel for a year now. I love it. I, I've, I really enjoy it. I've learned so much. I've met so many awesome people. I've got all these ideas and all these things I want to do. I think being injured and laying here just kind of makes you reflect a lot and, and think about all the things you are grateful for. These past few days have kind of sucked. Probably going to be another bit of suckage coming here in the future, but things are going to get better. And I'm super excited for that. It is day four, Sunday. Surgery was Wednesday. Feeling okay. I had to force Allison to leave today and go to Windrock. She has waited on me hand and foot for the last few days. Unbelievable. Literally some nights up like every two hours coming in, bringing me ice, meds, helping me try to get comfortable. Not only not complaining about it, but being so compassionate and sweet about it the whole time. I can't tell you 
how grateful I am for that. Very, very lucky. All right, it is Wednesday. It has been one week since surgery, and this is uh, not my first time out of the house. I've come outside and paced around the yard. This is my first time getting in the car. And going to the grocery store. Going to the grocery store. <laughs> I'm doing it. I might actually try to drive. I'm gonna try to drive. It's like a quarter mile away. I'm gonna try to drive. Yeah, I'm gonna try to drive. All right, gotta get that foot on the brake. Boom, done. First things first. Ride glasses on this bright day. Look how much Kaffir is on that sling. I got a little baby with Layla with me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't hurt yourself. I'm not. Oh my god, you make me so nervous. So you make me so nervous. Good bro. She's talking about that. What what? Bro, are you even injured? Look at this. Look at the one. Boom! Messed up. It's a special, special day today because today is the day that I go for my first follow-up with Dr. Sanders. Wish me luck. Here at the ortho, one-handed everything. Drove here myself successfully, all is good. Felt really nice, had some tunes cranked up. Feeling good, feeling happy. It's super warm out today, sunny as heck as you can see. And uh, we're gonna go in and see what the prognosis is. Here's my x-rays behind me. Dr. Sanders said things are looking great so far. There was a lot of uh, fracturing going in a lot of different directions. He got a chance to tell me more about what he experienced when he got in there. And it was uh, it was a job. He's uh, saying that healing is something I really just need to be really mindful of and take time on. And talk a little bit about a trip I have at Snowshoe for opening weekend and 10 weeks. And he's like, uh, let's just see. Let's just see how things go. All right, headed out. That was successful. Things are looking good. Oh, what a beautiful day it is here in sunny, wonderful Chattanooga. Uh, yeah, you can see back there, the trees are blooming. It is beautiful, everything's in bloom here. Spring has sprung in Chattanooga. Time to head home and uh, get some more rest. Lay back up. And while I did go home and rest a bit, with today's positive prognosis, it was time for a little evening celebration with some friends. This was my first time getting out of the house and being social, and things are slowly getting back to normal, piece by piece. Allie still does a lot for me, but I'm regaining a little more autonomy every day. I'm finally able to work on the computer, starting to get some exercising back, and I've even started my physical therapy. The best part is, is that I can finally get back out with my friends, even if I can't ride. All right. The Todd's house. A little place we like to call Scorpion Park. Hey, what's, up? what's up? I got Josh swinging away. On, this is part of his work release program. <laughs> I think there's a school down the road. We won't tell him you're here. Hey man, there's a little, little what's five. Up? You. Oh, you're like a hardware man now. You know yeah. what I mean? You got a leg up in the game. Oh. Man of steel. Hey guys, today the safety tip is don't do stupid stuff with your friends. And that, my friends, is what my past month has looked like. Thanks again for all of your support for the channel and for my recovery. Are you currently sidelined with an injury? Have you been through something similar in the past? Drop me a comment below and tell me about it. If you have a buddy on the injured list as well, share this with them and we'll keep up the good spirits together on our journey back to that sweet single track. Hit that like button for some healing vibes and if you haven't already, we'd love it if you'd consider subscribing to the channel as well. Until next time, I hope to see you out on the trails.